so recently i completed three jobs on the account worth 450 dollars um so in kenyan shillings you can do the math the training course is virtual i do have a video call one-on-one -on -one video call i don't only send notes to you and then that's it sometimes you find yourself sending so many proposals but you don't get even one single reply so what could be the issue have you been struggling to get clients on upwork then this is the video for you Hi M fam, welcome back to another video, another sit down video where we talk about money, where we talk about making money, where we talk about working from home and working online. So I really do enjoy making such videos. If you've noticed, I have a playlist on this particular channel where I talk about um, making money online, where I talk about working through Upwork and, you know, getting these jobs or these gigs on their account. So if you'd want to learn more or if you want to know more about it i have a playlist i leave the link in the description i'll also leave um the tag here you can click it and go watch so let's get straight into these are just some of the recent um reviews i've been getting from projects that i've recently completed i'm going to be talking about how to get clients and five tips that have really helped me personally to get these clients from the account and to be able to get these jobs so recently i completed three jobs on the account worth 450 dollars um so in kenyan shillings you can do the math so um i'll be giving you guys some of the tips that have helped me be able to get these jobs and i also got five star reviews so i'll be leaving um the reviews on the screen for you guys to be able to see so before we go on if you don't already know i have a training class where i do train you on how to be able to get these jobs on how to be able to do this work on how to be able to operate the account i do have a training class on that so to be able to enroll i charge 3000 kenyan shillings to be able to enroll you need to reach out through this email um, and we'll discuss further details from then um, but the training course is virtual i do have a video call one-on-one -on -one video call i don't only send notes to you and then that's it we do have a video call where we're able to talk directly so you get to ask me any question you get to you know interact with me one on one so once you enroll we'll be able to talk more details um on that but on this particular video i'll be sharing some of the tips that have helped me personally to be able to get these jobs and to be able to easily get returning clients so first off once you have your account set up you need to be able to find these jobs these jobs don't just find you you look for them you you're the one who's going to be applying i do get such kinds of questions a lot um so on the account on the platform you're supposed to send in proposals or cover letters you're the one who actually applies approach the client and sell yourself out there and tell the client why they should award you the project so first off i have some of the tips here i've just written them down just so that i cannot be able to forget each one of them so first thing you need to know is know what your niche is or find your strength you can't be able to do like 10 things at, at a go you need to focus maybe on only two three at most for me i focused on two areas so you need to be able to find your strength on the account because once you show a client you can be able to do this and you can be able to do it this client will come back to you so if you're going to be writing a cover letter on a blog project you'd want to approach this client and really show them that you actually know what you're doing and you know how to write a very good blog so let me give an example um, you can write a cover letter personalizing first of all so, so that brings us to tip number two check the client's feedback so this is where you're able to get the client's name so um the thing with me when i'm writing a cover letter i really do like personalizing the, the letter itself i really love mentioning the client's name and the only way you can be able to find this um particular name is through the reviews that other freelancers have left for this client and first off you need to be able to do this because you can't work with a client who's getting bad reviews from freelancers and when i talk about freelancers these are the writers doing these projects upwork gives you that opportunity to also rate your client um in as much as they're the ones who are also rating you you can be able to rate them you can be able to leave a review for them if they were not cooperative if they were giving you um a hard time completing the project you can be able to express your thoughts you can be able to express your experience through the um reviews over there so this is also 
a chance for you to be able to check what other people are saying about this client before you apply for their job because chances are so high that whatever happened to somebody else might just happen to you so first off for me when i'm applying for a job i always make sure to check what other freelancers are saying about this particular client and by luck some of these freelancers usually mention the client's name let me give you an example there was a job i was recently applying a blog project job and i saw one of the freelancers had actually left the client's name there on the review um, it was something like tony was a great client i'll just leave it here on the screen for you guys to see um and that's when i decided i'm going to apply for this job because now i knew the client's name and also most of the reviews were good not even most all of them were perfect everyone was saying how communicative he is how cooperative he is and it just blew my mind i decided to apply for that particular blog project and remember there are so many of you who are applying for this job you're not the only one so you need to be able to stand out you need to give this client a reason as to why they should select you i decided to write a very nice cover letter i decided to personalize my letter first off by mentioning his name so i started with hello tony um i understand you need a blog project for a sports company something that's a, that's basically how i started you know how you start really determines whether this client will hire you or not so the fact that I did mention his name kind of clicks on this client's mind and they're like, okay, this particular writer is so keen because um, he or she would already know I checked the reviews because on Apple platform, you cannot be able to see this client's name anywhere. You can't be able to see, you cannot be able to access the chat messages unless you've been invited and or unless they've hired you already. That's when you can be able to access. Otherwise, you cannot be able to see that chat message um, space. So once you check the client's feedback, you'd want to write a very nice um, letter informing the client what you understand about the project. Personally, for me, I do always make sure to um, kind of quote back the project's title um, in a very nice way. I wouldn't just quote it directly. But I do always make sure to um, quote, kind of quote the client's topic, but not directly quoting. But just to also ensure that they know I have gone through the job instruction or job description, something like. So I'll write down one of the um, cover letter I wrote for a recent client who I just completed her work. She gave me a five star rating. She loved my work and I'll be leaving the cover letter I actually wrote for her here on the screen for you guys to be able to see. So tip number two, always make sure you check the client's feedback because that will ensure that you do not work with a client who's so uncooperative because this can lead to also you getting a bad review and no one wants to get a one star rating. No one wants to get a two star rating. We all aim for the five star rating because this really does promote your profile. It really does put you out there above other freelancers so tip number three do not copy paste your proposals you need to be very very unique you need to be outstanding you don't want to write something that you've already written for another client this client will or will know this client will know because let me give you an example if you're applying for a blog project on a certain topic and you're also pre recently you've applied for another project on a different topic completely different niche when you copy paste the same cover letter obviously the the client will just know because i always make sure i do personalize my letter by mentioning the client's name mentioning some of the things i will be discussing in the project and also ensuring to tell the client to create a meeting or a zoom meeting for us to discuss further details so if you take the same cover letter and paste it to this new project this client will tell this client will actually realize that you've copy pasted and let me tell you one thing there's nothing as bad as writing the same letter because cover letters are usually the crucial part of the whole process of getting a project sometimes you find yourself sending so many proposals but you don't get even one single reply so what could be the issue maybe you are writing the same letter to different clients you need to be able to create new letters every single time i know that's the hard part of what uh, most people don't like doing that's the hardest part of this whole process getting to write new letters each and every time getting to write a new message for your client every single time but let me tell you the effort will all pay the effort will definitely pay and there's nothing about there's nothing unique about um the expert writers there's nothing unique about beginners there's nothing new about people who've been on the platform it all depends on you it all depends on the letter you write how you present yourself 
how you reach out to this client and approach them with so much confidence um with so much um insights knowledge on this particular topic so you need to put yourself out there do not copy paste the same letter you need to create a new one each and every time you are applying for a new project there's no shortcut that's the way it should be so another thing that usually helps me get new clients is by showing my experience showing samples of previously done work so this is the thing most of my students usually tell me hey v so you're talking about um showing samples of your previously done work but we're just beginners we've enrolled we've not done any single project before so what do you mean so don't worry if you have a website or if you own a website you can use that as your sample if you do not have a website if you do not own any particular website and maybe this is your first time on the platform all you can do is put your energy on the letter you need to put yourself out there because now your profile is new there's no rating on that particular profile there's nothing there's nothing to show that you've actually done this before or nothing to show that you've been doing this before you need to put yourself out there so if you've been on the platform even if you've done only one project you can upload that as a um, some of your samples but let me tell you one thing do not upload something that is irrelevant you can't upload a different um, completely different niche paper on another project a job that is um, completely different from each you need to be able to attach a sample that is relevant to what you're actually applying for you need to be able to reach out to this client especially if you are a beginner you can leave the review maybe if you have one review you can leave out a quote just a part of that particular reviews because clients are busy and most of them won't even have the time to check your profile keenly so you can leave out that reviews say what somebody else said about you you can take a part of that particular review and leave it out for the client to be able to see this plays a very big role it plays a very big role so it's very important for you to show samples mention reviews and show your experience tell the client that you've been doing this for quite some time and you know how to do it by showing samples of previously the other done thing research actually shows that clients on the platform are new most of them are new most um, um, i've not been using the platform for some time so you need to be able to guide your client i've really i've experienced this so much where a client doesn't even know what they're doing they don't know what should be done even after the project is completed they do not know that they're supposed to end the contact themselves so you're, you're the one who's supposed to guide your client tell the client this is what i will be doing in the project this is what i'll be including so you need to list down um some of the things that you will be doing and the client will feel as though this is kind of call a call to action to be able to give you this particular project so you need to guide the client also remember once a client and ends, ends the contact and they've not given your rating um it's very impossible for them to go back and give your rating so you need to be given that particular rating right before they end the contact um, another thing also if a client ends a contact and um, you need to rate them back because upwork works in an anonymous way where you cannot be able to see what the other client has left for you unless you rate them back um, because obviously they don't want you to be biased if a client left a very bad review for you they wouldn't allow you to see unless you rate them back because they want an honest review an honest um experience an honest feedback about what your your experience with this particular client um you need to be able to do that so make sure you get your client to know what they should be doing so once you complete the work as well and you need to upload it you need to go back send a message to your client and also inform them what you've done um you'd want to tell this client to rate you because of course ratings really do support your profile and once they do that maybe they leave a five star review please go back and tell the client that they should consider you in the future because that's how you get returning clients. And there's nothing as good as getting a returning client because that means um, chances of you getting more projects is high and chances of you boosting your profile and also working with this particular client. So the last tip for me is work through the account. If you don't want to experience any issue with money, if you don't want to experience any issues coming, I've gotten a lot of this in my DMs where my... Um, Followers and my students come back telling me some of the clients are requesting if they can talk through um, or talk outside the account. It might be true, it might be okay, but just to be safe, I really do advocate working through the account because working through the account means you're safe. They've already uploaded the money to escrow, so once they hire you, the money is already in the account. 
all is left is for you to submit the work and then the money is released to you so it's much safer it's very much safer that way other than um working outside the account and end up losing your money or wasting your time basically so i really do advocate working through the account these are just some of the tips that have been helping me throughout the years i have been on the platform and um i really do love sharing this information that's why once in a while i do make sure to create such kind of videos because you guys also do request for them a lot i'm hoping to do another video um about upwork and the platform itself so if you'd want me to do such kind of videos once more please do leave a comment down below and uh, definitely it will be my next video so um thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like the video, comment, and also share. It's been nice having you guys. Let me see you in the next.